Hi, my name is Chris Creek. I'm with Precision Planting, I'm Northeast Region Manager here. Um, uh, we're super excited about where agriculture is headed in terms of technology. Uh, we're getting to the point now where uh, we've got more and more intelligent systems out there gathering better and better data. Uh, I liken it to the difference between standard definition television and high def TV. We're now able to find information uh, in, in a small of an increment as a fifth of a second we're gathering data uh, about, uh, about your fields, about how you're planting, about how you're harvesting and that one fifth of a second translates to somewhere we're in, in the neighborhood of about 12 to, to 15 inches on your field. Uh, extremely exciting because these types of information gathering that we're able to do allow us to, to make adjustments in real time uh, to what's going on in the field, helping us to do a better job of what we do. And ultimately, um, the goal has to be in uh, helping the farmer to not only increase productivity, but also to increase profitability. While I'm really excited about some of the technology that's come about, um, we can't allow any piece of technology to take the place of uh, a good maintenance program on your hardware. Uh, if, you, if you've got the, the, the most high-tech monitoring system and control systems that are, that are functioning on a piece of equipment and yet some basic things like your chains or your opening discs on your planter aren't maintained properly or not set properly, you're still not going to be getting the results that you really need to have. Uh, the first step to, to any type of precision um, management has got to be equipment management, making sure that that equipment is, is uh, adjusted and, and maintained up to the spec of the original manufacturer or better. Uh, there's a, a lot of options for setting things up to, to varying field conditions and environments. Uh, we've got the ability to, to do uh, automated control of a lot of systems. Uh, and, uh, and I would highly recommend that, that anybody who does any type of planting, specifically in my areas in corn, uh, if you're doing any type of corn planting, Take the time to go to a, to a planter meeting. Uh, our precision planting uh, planter clinics, uh, don't, they, they go over the basics of planter maintenance and things, but they start to really talk about uh, what those uh, variations and what those uh, miss settings can mean in terms of yield. If, if we can help to, to put together uh, a, a, a system of going over the planter, uh, on a yearly basis and really as you're going through the field and, and as you're going through the season uh, just imagine this if I can put one more ear if by properly maintaining and adjusting I can put one more ear on a thousandth of an acre that's going to put seven extra bushels in your in your bin at the end of the year every acre if I can uh, put the, the the seed in an environment where it's able to, to grow two additional kernels on an ear. That's going to be a, a, equal to about nine bushels at the end of the year. And if we can put that seed in an environment where it's able to put two more kernels around on that ear, we've just put 18 additional bushels in your bin for every acre that you cover with that planter. There's no, uh, there's no um, substitution for good planter management. There's no substitution for stopping and digging seeds to evaluate how you're doing. And, um, and there's probably nothing that you do on your farm that has the potential to pay you back more than the attention you put in your planter. The planter pass sets the stage for everything you do the rest of the season. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.